Hey guys, what's up? This is Snowlover Tanani here. Um, I'm going to do a two-part video. First part is the Asset 3 test, as promised, of Safari and also for Firefox. So let's end the second part of the video. I'm going to jump right and switch to um, the Double Twist review. So let's get to it. Firefox. I mean, Safari. Sorry. Now, what the Asset 3 test um, tests is um, web standard compliance. The score has to end up on 100 over 100. The animation has to be smooth, and the default, I mean, the browser must use its default settings. No third party add ons to enhance performance. As you can see, um, Safari does it in a very smooth manner. Um, it's, it's not choppy or jerky. It's very clean, very smooth, you know. And the score is 100 over 100. And uh, you can compare it to the reference rendering, the reference, and as you can see, I'll switch between tabs. It's exactly the same, pixel for pixel. So that's good because webs, um, Web 2.0 is a standard, and Safari apparently meets that standard. Now Firefox. Firefox is not. This is not the beta version, but um, just seeing, just giving a comparison of how good Safari is in terms right, right now in, um, for the beta. Run the same test. As you can see, it's a little bit more choppy and jerky, and you get these red squares that you're not supposed to get and this little X here with the pink background and this is not it does not match the reference rendering reference rendering um, what you get reference you get so it does not match up you know to, to, to the reference rendering at all it's still a great browser in terms of the feature that you can use add-ons with um, pop-up blockers um, Facebook uh, uh, you know toolbars what you know all these this whole entire trove of add-ons so that's just the uh, Asset 3 test for two browsers. Now to the next part of my video, uh, as you can see, I'm going to have my BlackBerry hooked up. I'm going to run an application called Double Twist. Oops, Double Twist. So what Double Twist is, is a multimedia manager. As you can see, it recognizes my, my BlackBerry as Rim BlackBerry. Um, I can see all my music and videos and photos. And any uh, any photos that you have, you can also um, in your library you can do stuff like send it to Facebook, Flickr, and you can send it to other people uh, through email. You can view them, you know, full screen if you want to. So yeah, so what you can do with Double Twist, which is a free beta, you can have your iTunes media on a third party. MP3 uh, media device, media player. So if you buy, if you don't buy an iPod, you buy one of those like a Creative Zen Nano or a, or a, um, I'm trying to think of some alternative MP3 players or or a Zoom. Oh no, I'm not sure about Zoom. Um, but yeah, if you, if you have anything like that, you can use Double Twist to you know put media on it. For example, I have my BlackBerry. Um, instead of dragging stuff into the music folder or video folder or picture folder, I can just do it all here. Uh, what you, I'm going to select a few tracks. And I, all you do is just drag it, and it will go to the appropriate device, and it will have this little add icon, this little green add button. And just let, let go of it, it will transfer. All done. Video, same thing. Okay, videos are the same thing. Yeah, so, what uh, one feature that Double Twist has behind the scenes is that if you have a video or a music file or whatever that's not um, a format that your device can play it will automatically um, re-encode the, the media file so your device can play it that's really cool and uh, if you have a movie or something and it's an mp2 file uh, mpeg2 file you know you can re you can put on your you can just drag it to your phone and it will automatically re-encode it to fit the, the you know the format that it plays really nice really handy feature Double Twist is also a social networking site. I think, um, as you can see, you get little like little feeds, like Twitter feeds here. Um, it's like a micro blog, if you, if you will. And you can also add custom folders. For example, if I want to add um, pictures from another folder that's not, you know, from iPhoto, I can just go to it and select the, which folder I want, you know, and click add. Same thing as before. Go to it, select what you want, drag and drop onto the device. 
Now the device, you can also view the stuff on, that's on site and it's in, inside the device. For example, I can view that my BlackBerry has 126 tracks for music, um, 22 videos, no photos, you know, that kind of thing. Really, really useful. Um, this application is really well written. It's well written. Um, I, it is in beta. Yeah, 1.1, 1.0, beta 1. It has a cool icon. I just have to say that. And uh, it does have, you know, media exporting capabilities. You can send through things through email, just upload them to Flickr, uh, Facebook. You can view things, you know, that kind of thing. It's really, really helpful. Now, one thing that Don't Twist does not do is make playlists. Playlists for me is really important. I have a lot of playlists, okay? Like on to go one, on to go two, on to go, unsigned artists. I have a lot of playlists. And Don't Twist does not do that for me. But for me, it's not important as, as much because I, I'm using my BlackBerry for music and I don't listen to music that often anymore. So it's not that important. It is a pretty good feature to have, but it doesn't have it. I'm not going to go blame it. It's just a beta. You know, I think they'll probably have it in, in later versions. We'll, we'll see. So that's pretty much it. But there is one catch to all this. Okay, I forgot to say that. You have to sign up, and when you sign up, you have to sign up for the service. And when you sign up, it's free. As you can see, my account level is free. But you do need to give a few details, like your name and your email. It's optional for your gender. You can just deselect all of them and put and save it like that. So I put mail. So you know you can you can use this to browse media. You can use this to play music. Um, it's not that great of a media player. It's just um, like a media manager. You can manage media through devices. It supports a whole treasure trove of devices like Blackberries. Um, I'm just saying BlackBerry because I have a BlackBerry. Um, it, I'm not sure if it supports the Zune, but I do know it supports other MP3 players like that's non-iPod. Um, it does support cell phones, a lot of them like Sony, Samsung, um, LG, uh, I think of others, Sanyo, Sanyo Katana, Katana Moto, Motorola. Um, so yeah, it's a really great program, well written, like I said before. It's really handy because I, I'm getting kind of sick of dragging dropping to the right folders and things like that. It just doesn't have the great feel to it as Dome Twist does, and Dome Twist is, you know, does it for free, and uh, only takes up like 10 megabytes of my hard drive space. Not a big issue. So it's really nice um, to have this around when you're adding new media, and to keep track of what you have, what you don't have. You know, as you can see, you can have to keep track of artists, the title, and the time, and also trash things too. You can delete them by just click, click uh, selecting them and click trash. That's it. Oh, one, one thing that I think is a shortcoming of, uh, of Double Twist is that only recognizes um, 4 gigabytes of micro SD card memory. Either, I think it's the program, but it could be just my, um, it, it could possibly, on a very slim chance, be my computer not being able to recognize SDHC cards. Since anything above 4 gigabytes of SD card, micro SD card, is considered SDHC, Secure Digital High Capacity. But I don't think that's a problem because if I view it on the Finder, it does see it as 6.8 uh, gigs, but I have 6.4 available. For example, see, I have capacity is 7.48 gigs. That means I have um, 8 gigs by 8 gigabyte, you know, 8 gigabyte, uh, 8 gigabyte card. But uh, apparently, it does not, uh, you know, the program does not recognize it. I don't use that much anyway. It does see it is. I think it does recognize it up to only up to four gigabytes. Maybe that could be remedied. Maybe it's just a bug. I'm not sure. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the Safari slash Firefox Acid 3 test and also the Double Twist demo. So for more information, you can check out um, my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Twitter and my YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.